Hi, in this video today I am going to talk about population genetics and here is a problem. A beetle is polymorphic for color, it comes in black, brown and yellow color morphs. Birds and lizards uh, prey upon them, so due to differences in survival ship, the fitness of the color morphs differ. So homozygous dominant is black and has uh, se uh, 67 chance of survival to adulthood. Heterozygous is brown and has 93% uh, chance of uh, survival to adulthood and homozygous recessive is yellow and has 11% chance of survival to adulthood. Assuming that they have equal number of offspring, what is the relative fitness of each phenotype? If you feel that you can solve this problem on your own, uh, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem and when you would be ready with your results you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So uh, for the relative fitness we use uh, letter that is W and uh, also we may uh, have uh, different data for the experiments for example uh, it can be in absolute numbers and uh, if we uh, have uh, different uh, data for different experiments uh, in order to be able to compare them. For example, some experiments may uh, involve small numbers, uh, like you may have uh, 50 or 100 individuals that you work with. In other experiments there can be uh, hundreds or thousands of them. So how you can compare them uh, where uh, these absolute numbers are differ. Uh, so in order to work with such uh, different numbers, uh, scientists uh, came uh, with uh, idea of the relative fitness and uh, we calculate relative fitness by choosing the most fitted um, genotype or phenotype and as you see the most fitted uh, genotype here and phenotype that is brown and this is heterozygous and has a survival ship of uh, 93%. So uh, we use this for uh, this absolute number uh, for uh, to be our base for calculations. So um, relative fitness of this genotype that is capital A, small a would be 93 divided by itself. So we are going to get here 1. And 1 in the relative fitness system would be uh, the biggest number and the smallest number that is possible would be 0. So all our data would be between 0 and 1. So this is very useful for different uh, experiments and different data to bring them down on the same scale. So uh, now we can uh, proceed and find out relative fitness of the other genotypes and uh, the fitness would be relative to this most fitted uh, genotype and phenotype that is uh, brown and we find that uh, this is going to be one. So what is the relation of the other genotypes? For example black. Once again we use uh, W so this is going to be W homozygous dominant and in this case we have to divide um, 67 by 93 and the answer here would be 0 0.72 so this would be uh, relative fitness of the homozygous dominant and now we also can find uh, relative fitness of the um, homozygous recessive. So this is going to be W small a small a. And in this case we have to divide 11 by 93. And the answer here would be 0 0.12. So as you see numbers are different so uh, for the 
heterozygous, we have uh, 1, and this is going to be our answer for the uh, relative fitness of the heterozygous and uh, relative fitness for the homozygous dominant would be 0 0.72 and uh, relative fitness for the homozygous recessive would be 0 0.12 and uh, of course these numbers are rounded to two decimal places and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.